Hi everybody, my name is Alisa and in this lesson we will work on the words with endings ed and ing. Let's look at these examples. Snowed, snowing, hopped, hopping, studied, studying. What do you think all these words have in common? Yes, you're right. All of them have endings. Some of them, they end with ed and others with ing. And for example, if you look at the word studied and studying, you will notice that when we make the form from the, from the word study, when we change to studied, you will see that letter Y is changed into an I and we added ED. But when we make studying, we simply add ING. So, what's happening in this case? What rules do we use to change these words, to change the base words by adding ED and ING? Let's learn this now. Words with endings ED and ING. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to or you will know the basic rules how to add endings ED, ING to different words, read the words with endings ED, ING, spell the words with endings ED, ING. Okay, so what are the words with endings ED, ING? How to work with them, how to spell them, and how to read them. So let's look at this word. This is the base word snow. If we add ending ED, we will get snowed, right? We will get snowed. So, snowed, when we add ending ED to the word, we want to say that something happened in the past, right? But if you look at this word, again, we, we have the word snow, and we make snowing by adding ing. So when we add ing to the word, we want to say that something is happening now, at the moment. We got this idea. Okay, so there are a few rules. How do we add endings ed and ing? These rules are going to guide us how to spell the words. They're going to tell us whether we should change something in the base or just simply add the endings. Now, step by step, we will learn this with you. So, rule number one. The name of the rule is words ending with a consonant, vowel, consonant pattern. Or if you want to say in short, it will be CVC pattern. Consonant, vowel, consonant. By the way, do you know the English vowels? Okay, if you know, that's great. If you don't know, the English vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. The rest are the consonants. Okay, so one-syllable words. Now we think about the one-syllable words. Okay, when we want to add ED, if the word ends in, in a CVC pattern, which is consonant, vowel, consonant, it gets a double consonant plus ED. Now we'll look at the example and you will understand what I mean. Okay, next. When we want to add the ending ING, we work based on this rule. If the word ends in a CVC pattern, it gets a double consonant plus ing. For example, we have the word stop. So in here we can clearly see the pattern CVC. T is a consonant. O or the sound O is the vowel and P is the consonant. So we see the pattern CVC. That's why we look at this word and we think, okay, it has only one syllable, stop. Stop only one syllable, right? So, that's why we are just gonna double the letter P, double the consonant, and after that add ED. So, you can see in here we got stopped, stopped. We doubled the letter P and added ED. Okay, but if you look at the word hop, 
we see exactly the same pattern, C, V, C. And if we want to add the ending I and G, again, we need to double the letter P or any other consonant, if it will be a different word, at the end of this word. And we get hopping, hop, hopping. Okay, so it was this simple rule how to add ED and ING to the CVC pattern words. Okay, let's move to the next rule. So we still, we are still uh, focusing on the consonant vowel consonant pattern. And there are some exceptions in this rule. So if the word, words ending in W, X, Y, and Z, do not follow this rule. In this case, we just need to simply add ed or ing. Let's look at these words. So, for example, if we have snow. You can see that snow ends with a w, right? Even though it's the same CVC pattern, but it ends with a letter w. And we know if the word ends with a letter w, we just simply add and in ed and we get snowed. Okay, so next word is the word box. Box, again, we see the same pattern, C, V, C. But if we want to add the end in I and G, we don't need to double any, anything because it ends with a letter X. And we get boxing. Okay, we got it. Let's move to the next rule. Still, we are working on the constant vowel, constant pattern. But we pay attention to the two syllable words. Two syllables. One, two. Two syllables. So, what do we do when we want to add ending ed? If the stress is on the first syllable, the word only gets one consonant plus ed. When we want to add ing, we follow the, the same rule. If the stress is on the first syllable, the word only gets one consonant plus I and G. So, for example, let's look. What do I mean by the stress on the first syllable? We have the first, the word visit. So, let's look at the stress. We have visit. It's not visit. It's visit. So, if the stress is on the first syllable, we just simply add and in ED. We don't need to change anything. And we get visited, visit, visited. Let's look at the next example. So we see the word happen. It has how many syllables? Yes, you're right. It has two syllables. So we get hap, pen. So the stress is on the first syllable, on the happen. We don't say happen. We say happen. If the stress is on the first syllable, we simply add ending I and G and we get happening. Happening. What's happening? Okay, so I hope you got it. Let's move next. So still we are working with two syllable words, but in this case, in this case, the stress in the words is on the second syllable. So, if the stress is on the second syllable, the word gets a double consonant plus ed. So, we need to double the last consonant in the word and then add ed. Same happens, same rule we apply when we want to add the end in i and g. So, let's look at the examples and we'll understand it better. For example, the first word is refer. So, refer has two syllables. Re Fur, right? In this case, if it has two syllables, we need to pay attention to the stress. So the stress in, on the, is on the first, oh, sorry, is on the second syllable. Refer, not refer, it's refer. It's on the last, on the second syllable. That's why we need to be very attentive and we need to add another letter R. In our case, the last consonant is R. That's why we need to double it. And we just get referred. We doubled that letter R and we added end in ED. And we got referred. Let's look at one more example. Next word is begin. To begin something. Okay, so 
Again, we have two syllables, right? The stress is on the second syllable, begin, begin. Okay, and we get beginning. If you look here, you will notice that we doubled letter M because the stress is on the second syllable. Not on the first syllable, but on the second syllable. Beginning. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Let's look at the rule number two. Okay, so rule number two is about the words ending in E. So, let's see, what do we do with these words that end in letter E? And usually, and I think all the time, this letter E is silent in these words. So, if the word ends in E, you need to drop the E and add ED. Same happens if the word ends in E and we want to add ING, so we need to drop the letter E. Okay, so for example, let's look at the word smile. So smile ends in letter E. In the word smile, letter E is silent. So when we want to add end in ED and say smiled, I smiled to you yesterday, we need to drop silent E and add end in ED. If we wouldn't drop the silent E, we would need to have in here two letters E. But we don't want this to happen. We just need only one. One vowel is enough. That's why we get smiled, smiled. Next example, skate. Skate ends in silent E at the end. You can see that. That's why we get skating. And you can see clearly that we dropped the silent E. And there is no silent E in here in the word skating. We have only I and G and that's it. Okay, you got it. <laughs> it's a very simple rule. Let's move to the rule number three. So rule number three, it's about words ending in, in Y, in letter Y. So if we have this pattern, consonant and Y at the end of the word. So if the word ends in Y and has a consonant before it, it's very important, a consonant before it change the Y into an I and add ED. This is how it works. Let's look at the example. So we have the word study. The word study ends in letter Y and it has a consonant before it, which is D, right? So we have this pattern, consonant and letter Y. So if we want to add and in ED, we need to change Y into an I and then add ed. Only this way we will spell the word studied. I studied it a few years ago. Studied. Okay. However, if we want to add and in i and g to exactly the same word study, what should we do? We just need to simply add it. We don't need to change i into, sorry, y into an i. We don't need to do anything with this letter y. We just simply need to add and in ing and we get studying, studying. I'm studying this at the moment now, studying. Okay, I hope you got it. You got the idea. Next, so we still work on the words and in ny, but in this rule, we should pay attention to the words that end with vowel and letter y. So, if the word ends in Y and has a vowel before it, simply add ED. And the same rule applies if the word ends in Y and has a vowel before it, you simply add ING. Stay, state. So, you can see that in this word, we did not change anything. We just simply added ED. Or if I want to say stay, staying, I'll simply add ing and I will not change anything in this word. Stay, staying. Stay, state. Okay, let's move on. And the rule number four, it's about all other words. So all other words will, will divide into two categories. The first category is words ending in two vowels and a consonant. So, if the word ends in two vowels 
and a consonant, you simply add ed. Same happens if we want to add ing. If the word ends in two vowels and a consonant, simply add ing. For example, rain. You can see in here the pattern. A is a vowel, I is a vowel, N is a consonant. That's why if we want to add and in ED, we just simply add it. We don't need to do anything with this word. And we get rained. Again, if you look at this word rain, it has the same pattern VVC, vowel, vowel, consonant. And if you want to add ING, you just simply do this and you get raining. You don't change the base word. The base word, which is rain. Okay, you got it. <laughs> and also, the next category of the other words, these are the words ending in a double consonant. What I mean by that? Double consonant means two consonant letters at the end of the words. So, if the word ends in a double consonant, simply add ed. Same rule applies if you want to add ing. Let's look at these examples and you'll understand what I mean. So, for example, we have the word park. Park. This word ends in two consonants. R is the consonant and k is the consonant. That's why we get parked. We don't need to do anything with this word. Or we have the word laugh. I want to laugh. But if I want to say she is laughing at the moment, I don't need to do anything with the word laugh because it ends with two consonants, G and H. I'm simply adding I and G. You got it? Okay. So, these are the base words that we will work with you, and we will practice by adding ED and ING to them. So, let's read through these words. These words are like, worry, roll, sing, Swim, settle, talk, hurry, buy, try, leave, dive, ice, compare. If you just scan these words, you can notice that some of these words end in a silent E. Some of them end with letter Y. So some of them can have this kind of pattern, vowel and letter Y and consonant and letter Y at the end of the word. Also, some of them end with two consonants, others end with silent E, already said that. So yeah, let's see, and some of them end with a pattern consonant, vowel, consonant. They have only one syllable and they have this pattern consonant, vowel, consonant. So let's have a look at these words in this table and let's see what should we do to change these words by adding ed or by adding ing? So the first base word is like. When we want to add and in ed, we get liked. And when we want to add ing, we get liking. So in this case, we just drop the silent e in both cases and we add these endings. So, the rule that we apply here is words ending in E. Next word is, you read? Yes, you're right. It's worry. Worry ends in letter Y. But we need to pay attention. Is there a consonant or a vowel before? Yes, you're right. There is a consonant letter R, sound R. That's why we have worry. So, if we want to add and in ed to the word worry, we need to change y into an i and add ed, and we will get worried. And But if we want to add ing, it's very important in here, we don't change anything. We just simply add ing. We apply the rule consonant plus letter y in here. Next word is roll, rolled, rolling. When we added these endings, we did not change the base word. Can you tell me why? Yes, you're right, because the word roll ends with double consonant. L, L. We have double consonant at the end. Okay, next word is sing. 
in hearing to be attentive, we cannot say singed. Nope. We just say sang. That's why we don't apply the rule of ending, ed ending in here. But we can say singing. He is singing. That's why we just simply add I and G. So why don't we change this rule, this word at all? Huh? Yes, you're right. Because the word sing ends in a double consonant. Same happens, or maybe not the same. How about the word swim? In the past, we say swam, right? Swam. We don't add and in ed, but we say swimming. And in here, you can see that we doubled letter M. Why did we do this? Because this word has a pattern. C, V, C. Consonant, vowel, consonant. That's why we need to double letter M. Okay, next word is settle. The word settle ends with, yes, with a silent E. That's why we get settled and settling. We drop the letter E. Okay, next word is talk. We get talked, talking. We don't change the base word at all because it ends with two consonants at the end, with double consonants. And we get talked, talking. Okay. Just a few more words. Next word is hurry. This word is a very interesting word. So, so tell me please, the word hurry, it ends with letter Y. So what do we have before the letter Y? Yes, you're right. We have a consonant, a consonant R. That's why when we want to add and in ED, we change Y into an I and add ED. And we get hurried. But we don't apply this rule if we want to add ing. In this case, we get only hurrying, hurrying. So what rule do we apply in here? You are right. It's consonant plus letter y. How about this word? The base word is by, by. In the past, we say bought. So we don't add and in ed. It's an irregular verb. That's why we don't add and in ed. We just say bought. However, we can add ing and we get buying, buying. So you can look in here that we, when we add ing, we don't change anything. We just keep the base word. Okay, next word is try. Try, when we want to change it into the past, we would say tried. So what happened with letter y? Yes, you're right. We changed it to an I and added ED to it. However, when we want to make trying, we don't change this word, the base word at all. We just simply add ING. So what rule do we apply in here? Yes, you're right. We apply the rule consonant plus letter Y. Next word is leave, to leave the country, to leave this room. In the past, we will say left. He left the room two hours ago, or he left the office two hours ago. However, when we want, we can add ing to this word, and we get leaving. So if you compare leave and leaving, what is missing in this word? You are right. We dropped the silent e, and we added ing, because this word ends in e. Next word is dive. You can see that this word ends in silent E. And we can say dived and it will be correct. And also we can say dove, dove. So there are two ways to say this word. And also we can make the form with ing. And we will say diving, diving. So what happened with letter I? We dropped it. You're right. There is no letter I when we add ing. Sorry, there is no letter E when we add ing. We just get simply diving, but without silent E at the end. We drop it. Okay, next word is ice. And tell me, please, look at the ending of this, of this word. Yes, you're right. It ends with a silent E. So, we can add and in ed. But we don't need the silent E anymore, so we get iced. 
And also we can add and in ing and we get I sing, I sing, but without the silent e. So these are the words ending in silent e, exactly the same rule as we applied for the previous word. And one more word is compare. Compare, how do we say in the past? Compared, yes, and what is he doing at the moment? He is comparing two projects, for example, comparing. So what happened with silent e at the end of the word compare? You are right, we dropped it, it disappeared, it evaporated. So, and in here we apply the rule about the words ending in e. Thank you for learning with me. I hope that these spelling rules were helpful for you. If yes, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you soon. Take care.